What's up guys, Dickvin in here, and we're covering a little bit of the Grand Theft Auto Online update for the Low Riders. And so I want to cover the two new weapons, because that's probably my favorite thing in this update is the weapons. <laughs> so, they have a new machete, and they have this new pistol, but this pistol is like an automatic gun. It's like an automatic pistol. You can get extended mags for it, etc, etc. And I did on the offline mode, but I didn't online because it's all overpriced, you know? This game's starting to get a free-to-play feel to me. Where you kind of get a free to play game, but to really get anywhere in it, you gotta buy like points. And there are a lot of shark cards in this game where it's like, hey, a couple dollars here to get a couple million dollars, and you can buy this DLC. So, I don't know, as much free DLC they get out, maybe it's worth buying a couple of them, but I still have a lot of money, so I like this gun. I do, I like how it's automatic, it's really fast, it's really good, just small pistol. I think it shoots really well, and um, the machete though. Let's talk about my machete. I love the machete. It gives me like a cool like Jason Friday the 13th feel. But the thing about the machete is that the gore in it is it's kind of lame. Like when you stab someone, it's not like big old chunks of their skin missing. It's not anything like cutting off their heads like in Vice City back in the day. And that's kind of a letdown. I know it's kind of, I don't know, gory and disgusting to talk about, but you know, it's a real life simulation. Grand Theft Auto, they had worse back in the day, and they really toned it down. Like, if we're going to have some more free DLC update that's not like a new map that's paid DLC, then I personally would like a gore update. Maybe some more gory or weapons and be able to chop people's arms off and just... Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, maybe I'm just crazy, but still, it just, I think it'd be cool. But I do like the machete. It does look really cool. It looks kind of tiny. Sometimes it'd be cool if it was like a huge Friday the 13th Jason machete, but you could dress up like Jason and run around Halloween or a machete. That's cool. And I hope they do something for Halloween. Like put some lights out or something cool. You know, that's what I expected out of this update. And we got some gangsta low rider update. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, I have some more footage of the, uh, the gun. Because I do like the gun, and they're both pretty cool. You know, they should be probably their individual videos, but we'll put them both together save some time and then we're going to talk about um cosmetics and the lowriders themselves i'll do an overall review on this dlc so more gunplay i like this gun a lot like you can customize it a lot you can't customize machete at all you can change the color you can extend the mag you can put a quieter on there it is pretty cool but let me know what you guys think i think it looks really cool in first person mode you want some more grand theft auto let me know in the comments and keep a lot to duck opinion we're the only channel where ducks can fly so don't forget, my friends, to like and subscribe. Peace.